we have another difference quotient to find, this time of the function 4 over x. As always, the difference quotient formula has an f of x plus h in it. Um, the f of x is typically given to us, but we need to find this f of x plus h based on the given function. And as always, just using function notation, anytime we're plugging anything in to our f function, we just replace the variable in the f function with whatever is in parentheses. So the function given to us was 4 over x. If we replace x with x plus h, which is what this notation tells us to do, we should get something like this. I always tell students to put parentheses around whatever they're plugging into their function, and that's a good practice. In this case, the parentheses aren't actually doing anything, so I'm going to get rid of them. Now, there's nothing to simplify here, so let's just look at our difference quotient formula. I'm going to replace our f of x plus h in the formula with what we got. And f of x was given to us, so I'm going to replace the given function right there. And we have a divided by h. Now, this is a complex fraction, or in other words, it's a complex rational expression. We've dealt with that earlier in the semester, so uh, we have some skills with this. What we need to do is we need to find a common denominator up here. That's going to require us to multiply this term by an x over x, and this term by an x plus h over an x plus h. And if it helps, we can put parentheses around all of these. Let's simplify that just a bit. Now, the reason we did that is so that we can have a common denominator up top here, and we can combine all of this into one fraction. Let's do that. Now, you'll notice I'm not doing too much in each step. You'll also notice that I'm copying every single part of the problem down every time I do a step. Um, those are both good practices so that we don't lose any terms and so we don't mess anything up. In this next step, I'm going to simplify just this piece that I'm circling right up here. I distributed the negative 4 through the parentheses. Now you'll notice we have a 4x minus another 4x up here in this term. Those can cancel. And we're now left with um, a single fraction here, a rational expression here, and an h in the denominator, which we can think of as h over 1. So this is just like two fractions. We can copy dot flip this thing to simplify. I copied the numerator. I'm going to flip the denominator. And what you're going to notice is that this h in the numerator is going to cancel with that h down there and we get ourselves a final answer. Cool, that was a good one. We got to use lots of our algebra skills. Take a look back at what we did. 